gonna smell your fingers? Smell my fingers! No, no, I'm not gonna smell your fingers. I'm not gonna oh fall for that joke. Can you do a periscope with smell? Let's stop. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, what was that? that was, Ooh, it was that, that one. lavender, right? Well, I know that's what it looks like. That one smells more like lavender. That smells like eucalyptus. Well, there's two lavandula. On this one, too. Yeah. Let's try it. Rub, 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 and. Mmm, that smells good. That oh, this is a lavender. Look, because it has oh, the it does have the little flowers. It has the flowers. This one smells really good. Okay, what other what other scents really have you found here? Um, there's some thyme right there, and there's oregano. There's um, mint. Smells really good. Several kinds you know, of rosemary. They say that they say that um, thyme is the most valuable asset one can have. Let's pick it all then. Yeah. <laughs> And then I remember sell it. when I was in like third or fourth grade, and the spice thyme was one of our vocab words of the week, and our right. teacher pronounced it thyme. Thyme. Like, what is that? That is. So what? she was a bad teacher. She was. Is this she why you are worst. where you are in life right now? Because yeah, this is her fault. <laughs> you couldn't have got they. Um, My God. That, that's no. You did well in your SATs on vocab. Oh, is it spicy? No. Yeah. Just wait, I'm and then taking we were, a video. We had to work in pairs to quiz oh, each other. On our, we worked in pairs to quiz each other on our vocab words. Uh -huh. And so I said thyme to make sure I wouldn't mess up my partner. And then he said thyme. And I was like, oh, he knows the right way to say it. And I felt stupid. What grade was this? <laughs> like third or fourth. Third or fourth grade? You have this memory still? Oh, yeah. It stuck with me. <laughs> really? That's, that, that's amazing. Oh, okay. I'm not giving you more gum right now, sweetie. Smell. Okay. Rosemary? Okay. Smell the camera. Camera smell? Okay. Ooh, smell really uh, your good. fingers smell like every scent you've had. Well, so it does, but you can smell the rosemary. Yeah. Thank you guys for the hearts and the love. Jackie, Isa, Jay, Five Grand, Pula. Okay. So where are we right now? What are we doing? We are at Ramat Hanadiv. Okay. Uh, gardens. I like here. your glasses. Thanks. They're very, um, I don't know, like Paris Le Airport? Leopard cheetah. Somewhere. Some airport. Really? Dublin? Not a train station? No, it's definitely an airport. Maybe Dublin. Tour guide Aaron, what is going hey, on, my Aaron. friend? Okay, so Aaron, for Aaron, why don't you give a tour? Okay, oh, look pretty. Here, I'll let you hold it and tell everyone where you are right now. Go do the whole run through that. Thank we did you. Where why don't you show this here? So. Show some pictures here. I believe this is probably Baron Rothschild. Hello! <laughs> Actually, his wife is the one that, after he died, established his, this place oh, in his okay. honor. Okay. And his uh, tomb is here. And it's free. And uh, Do you want to film him the, um, um, Rothschild family is like third generation, I think, is still keeping and helping develop agriculture and education and nature and pre preserve nature yeah. in Israel as a, as a memory to the father uh, that, uh, and he established here where we live in this area all the wine industry the Carmel wineries and stuff he made of a sort of a small knuckle valley here and that's a lot yeah. and they keep this gardens open all week long for free and remember, if you come here, it's still four o'clock in the afternoon. They shut down. Summer, winter, doesn't matter. So uh, in the evening, they're closed. What is Aaron saying? I that we're in the Kronia Yes, that is where we are. Welcome, Ali. How are you? Cute. Really cool hey, palm trees here. No, we haven't. We haven't been to any wineries yet. I believe we're going to. These are really cool. I don't know if I've seen palm trees like this before. But there's a good tour at the the Carmel Winery. Yeah, we definitely want to go somewhere. Yes, okay, awesome. And I think Lisa has a friend who's gonna mm. take us 
to his winery too, I think. But so oldest winery in Israel. Okay, very cool. You'll we'll have to check it out. So we're here, Ramat Hanadif. <laughs> Botanical gardens here. They're memorial gardens for Baron Rothschild, who played a huge role in helping bring Israeli people back, or bring Jewish people back to settle in Israel back in the early 1900s. <coughs> really awesome hummus. That you got. Thank you. I, I was thinking we needed to find a good hummus place here. So Baron Rothschild played a big role. He died in 1934, and uh, his tomb is here. So he is buried here and then they have it open as uh, beautiful gardens for the public to come to. It covers about four and a half kilometers and it's free to come to. Really nice, really pretty. That We were just in, um, if you didn't see the beginning of this scope, we we're in their scent garden. So just, you know, the, the fountain and then surrounded by different herbs, you know, rosemary and oregano and mint and lavender and all smell really good and so the signs underneath had braille at the bottom and they let blind people can come and feel the plants and they're allowed to break them off and smell them and you know have the sensory interactions it's really cool actually I found some hibiscus here it's very tropical here I like it it's very beautiful This gets, yeah. Mama, I feel like you don't think of Israel's being so so green and floral, right? You just picture a, a giant desert. Sorry, I know that sun is bright. Let me turn. Check with Lisa. Okay. See some pretty purple flowers over there when they run up ahead. Oh. Try not to bounce you guys too much. Okay, so talk talk you about your trip to Israel. You know, be a little bit more open. About your struggles, Christy, as a mom. You're <laughs> trying to travel to work on the internet. What else we can? Josh gave me a hard time about baby socks for I think I lost them. So how are you guys doing today? How's my reception? I mean, it's, we've had a hard time here. The enough connection. Oh, he's coming up. Some more flowers. Welcome, Lori. How are you? Oh, here we go. This is the rose garden, and at the moment there's not many roses because it's not the season. Okay, but looks good. Okay, season, great. But it's full of blossom. You can get down. What? Okay. Not too bad. Okay. Dropping out occasionally. I'll take oh, it. Oh, we're good. Thank you very much. Oh. Had a couple days of rain, and now it's beautiful out. That's a cool picture right there. The girls running in the back. Okay, so what? So everyone who's joined us recently, uh, what can you tell us about where we are right now? I, I told him. Just Lori. Just watch the replay. Lori, you joined. We're at Ramat Han and Eve Gardens here. We are. Simba in... just joined. Simba, awesome. We are in Zikron Yaakov in Israel, um, kind of on the northwest. Side. So near the Mediterranean right now and checking out the botanical gardens here. It's very peaceful. <laughs> very, very peaceful here. So quiet and calm. I really love how peaceful it is. Um, just so amazing. I'd like to come here and just think about Bobcat. Bobcat Gold. What is Bobcat Gold? Goldthwait. What? Goldthwait? Gold Go Bobcat Gold? Wait. <laughs> Look at the big bro. Uh, police Academy. Oh, I like to think about Police Academy. There you go. Oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> Alright, so he was saying I pressure you to be more 
real and authentic and I just gotta let you do your thing. That's right. Is that, do you agree with that? Yes, because then I just freeze up. And you I just freeze up. So, okay, so Christy's a very happy person all 98% of the time. And it's very difficult for a person like me because I'm not. Look at the different shades of green on this. <laughs> And uh, so I try to, you know, encourage Christy. Your your wife looks very happy. I exactly. Are, are I am. You happy? I am happy. Yeah. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's peel this onion. There's many layers to this woman. Like a Shrek. <laughs> yeah, like a Shrek. <laughs> That's what he says. He's what? like an onion. He has a lot of layers. Oh, Shrek does. <laughs> and Donkey's like, what? Why an onion? What about a parfait? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a parfait. She looks really relaxed. Sounds exactly like my wife and me. Oh. Uh, Aaron, I um I don't know if you have any advice. You know, I people have encouraged me to be more o open, and um, I guess that's what being a digital nomad does to you. Um, makes you happy, or why? Right, so, oh look, it's a clock. That is cool. So it has a little bent um, no, piece of steel. You've claw. seen my wife's scope. She's a sweetheart. That's what I hear. Aww, I hear we hear his wife is a sweetheart. <laughs> no one ever. No one's ever like Josh and Christy are great. They're like Josh's wife is great. <laughs> she is amazing. What time is it? I say is that the time? I'm very confused. It's it's almost sixteen. What time is it in real life? Looks like you're the only ones here. Well, us and the bobcat over there. <laughs> Don't break the phone. So I'm gonna try to be more, a little bit more open in my scopes, and uh, we'll see what. We'll see how they turn out. I don't want to like start crying on like Periscope, being that it's like this is being recorded, you know. But I definitely don't. I don't mind being more open. So. Hi, Indiana. Who's from Indiana here? Cindy? Who's from Indiana? I just saw it for a second. The sun was in my eyes, literally. Hey, your front camera isn't making that all. Oh, no. Well, this is because I'm on Christy's iPhone yeah. and my baby's chewing mine. Why would I let her chew the phone? Because she just really loves chewing her phone up. <laughs> Thank you, life proof. It's also baby proof. But don't get you don't don't chew the edges so much. Just you know. Okay. Do we have something else she could chew? Oh, like, yeah, the girl's little teeth. How about this? How about the car keys? She loves. Hey, how oh, about she this? Does. Hey, car keys. Thank you. Like, give me my phone. <laughs> Thank you. She's 11 months old today. What? Happy birthday! Yay. Remember when we celebrated every month that we were dating? Oh, that we've been married, right? For the first year. Oh yeah, first we? year, like first year. Yeah, we joking. did like we first year, first we month of marriage. Like the, one, the first month, month we went out like for fondue. I we think we didn't do it every month. Maybe did we? not. But the first month, I think we went to melting pot. Are you doing anything special for your ten year anniversary? Us? Yeah. You planning anything special? It's coming up. It is. I know. My goodness, it's only. A few I weeks. have something special planned. I can't tell you. No, he doesn't. Because I haven't thought about it yet. But. <laughs> See? Neither of us know, but it's going to be a surprise <laughs> to both of us when well, it that happens. morning, yeah, we're going to be like, oh, hey. <laughs> what? You still, uh, you don't still do that. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had how many, how many anniversary, monthly anniversary dates have we had? Calculate, quick. Monthly anniversary dates? Yeah. Like where we've actually yeah, celebrated 500 it? Yeah, or... uh, almost 550. Well, 10 years, I mean 120, right? Oh, sorry, I was doing weeks. <laughs> we celebrate every 52. week, every Saturday. Yeah, every Saturday we celebrate. We had another our, week. We made it. We made it. <laughs> okay, how many months? I mean, I guess 119, right? Wow. I don't catch you guys live that often. Nice to see you. Live. Too. Oh, I don't catch you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Live and live, it, they're the same English. word in English. English. I, oh, yeah, she's missing a sock. You. Where is it? Where is I don't your, know. You lost you know, it? Yeah. Well, take the other one off. It just looks silly. <laughs> <so. laughs> people, multiple people have said, your baby has no sock on. Yeah, she was chewing it earlier, oh, but I think we lost sorry. it somewhere along the way. I never, uh, I never catch you. Live. No, she said, I never catch you dead. Oh, no, that's friendly. Oh, well, good. 
<laughs> I never catch you dead on Periscope. This is very nice. Okay, well, you know, this is a cool scope. Yeah. Do you like bacon? That was a question that just came in from uh, John Deasy. It is my favorite kosher food. But no, what? but you. Do yeah, you... do I like bacon? Um, I do. I don't eat that much meat, but bacon is pretty delicious. I don't eat it often. Do you like the... But like if like, we're at a buffet and it's do you like, there. Hold on, I get it. Do you like to wrap it? Uh, what do they have bacon wrapped? Uh, I can, like wrap around a sandwich. In Israel, or... people are perfectly comfortable telling you your kid isn't yeah. dressed warm enough. <laughs> That's good. It's like the the typical American Jewish mom, right. but everywhere. They help you take care of them. Okay, I. This guy is kind of. Uh, hey, bye. He's asking some weird questions, but. They stop you on the street. People, will, Aaron is saying they'll stop you on the street and say your baby isn't dressed warm enough. Really? Or they'll say, hey, needs a hat. Or a sock, for that matter. You really lost a sock? I tucked it in, like right here. In the little sock pocket. <laughs> yeah, I think you lost it. That, well, Aaron has eight children, so he hears this like eight times a day. I bet, yeah. No, but I've gotten that. They have a whole committee, that actually, they hired to just harass Aaron and his, his children. <laughs> It's like it's two guys. It's it's a guy and a they girl, and they kind of just wait. The yeah, and... they, they have the little headset in. They're like, "Yep, he's on the move and go." Granny, go. go. <laughs> Granny, go. <laughs> that would <laughs> wow. That would be a little rude here. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Uh, it's kind of. A work. It isn't like one of Is the it rude we... in America? Oh, Hello. don't break the keys. Christy keeps drop. Okay, they do that here too. Even farming communities or small towns. Um, we don't. It, uh, I the mean, strange thing. What oh, I've got, I was gonna say, what I've gotten in the U.S. is usually uh, I get more like questions. Let's so do a reenactment real quick. Don't, back don't up. Think she's cold. Do you think she needs a jacket? Back up real quick. Oh, stop. Okay. Pretend you just wheeled your cart up in the grocery store in America. Okay. You're standing in line. Okay. okay. You're, okay. You're putting your food on the conveyor belt. Now someone shows up behind you. You're in America. Okay. Show me what you. Show me what you do. They're coughing pretty loud. You are not allowed to turn around in America and look at yeah, anyone like, behind you. Uh, you. Or, or it's you very like strange. The scan of the whole okay, now now show me in Israel. Well, no, Italy. Italy. Well, I know here too. Like, really? Yeah. Okay, in okay. Italy, if you, you're shopping, okay. and someone shows up behind. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Like, why are you looking <laughs> at is, me? Yeah, it's very uncomfortable as and Americans. I, I'm going to go back to the States when we do. I'm just going to start looking at everybody. People are going to be like, what's this guy's problem? They, they just like, they stare you and they look no, at here your we cart had people like take, they have never seen we had food to take, before. Oh, Aaron said we had to take the sweater and try to pull it over our baby. <laughs> okay, I've never had anything that bad. But, that's pretty aggressive. Yeah, that is really aggressive. <laughs> But here, while we've been, uh, hey, Terry's on. Terry, we haven't seen you like forever. Terry Scozzi, remember he helped us get out of, uh, we both got oh, oh, locked oh, oh, in. Oh, from Versailles. Versailles. Hey. So we're in Israel right now. I've been Are here for you? a while. Have, Terry, I haven't seen you on. Hey. How are you? So we're touring a garden here by, uh, it's a, it's a. It's a memorial ahead. garden for Baron Rothschild, who kind of helped found Israel pre-state. How does it compare to Versailles? Eh, nothing is Versailles. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but it is beautiful. And look at Aya, really... look how big she is since you saw her in Versailles. She's got some titi. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that little toothy mouth. Come on, come on. <laughs> Do you, you want to give her the keys back? She yeah, liked them. Yeah, I think she was done. Oh, really? Hey. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what else can you tell us about this for? For Terry. For Terry. So. We're all we are all safe, by the way. Good. That heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. Let me have let me have her and you can talk real quick. Oh, it's a... yeah. Let's do a little switch. You're so much better on camera than I am. You know, it's it's, it's hard. Aaron... It's hard to put yourself on camera. Like I think ninety yeah. percent of people on Periscope don't actually yeah, scope. Yeah, they just watch. Okay, so go ahead and have a conversation. I'll go. Sorry, the that's my hand. Hey guys, um, yeah, Terry, while we're on the topic, we, we, I don't think we really made a scope covering Paris at all. Um, did a post on Instagram and Facebook, but we 
can't even put into words really um, how I feel. Um, so glad you're safe. Real, it that was so devastating and hard to process, you know. And I, I've I, I've I've loved getting to watch periscopes and and seeing people then at the memorials and everything and just you know the catharsis there. Um, that's been really special. I think that's been one of my favorite things to come out of Periscope so far is getting to share in those moments. Um, but yeah, so Terry, glad you're here and you haven't tried scoping yet. Yeah, I, it, it was actually the strangest thing. We had a, uh, one of our friends check on us and I typed the sentence, we're safe in Israel. I'm like, wow, who would have thought that was, uh, Hold on, I realize the girls are back there. Um, you know, such a strange sentence. But yeah, very thankful to be safe here. And yeah, it's it is it's hard to put yourself on Periscope. It like in person, I I have a hard time talking to people. And so then you put on video, and you're like all these strangers, and it's it's intense, but it's really cool, and it's it's been an awesome way for us to meet really good people, whether we're meeting them on Periscope or, you know, now we're starting to meet some in person. Take good care of you. Yes. Hey. Okay. They're, they're good. But it's been, oh, okay. So, all right, I'm going to flip you guys around and we are going to come check out the tomb for Baron Rothschild. Cringe every time we watch your playbacks. Oh, I know. Yeah, Josh wants me to go back and watch my replays. It's so hard. Flip you guys. Yeah, it's so awkward. I'm enjoying just meeting you and others who are scoping. Exactly. It's it's such a cool medium. A way to really get to know people. And so, you know, the, the family that we're here with now, we met through Periscope. I have, I have to say thank you to Christy and Josh. I've been living in Zichon for 20 years. I've been visiting here with all my friends, everybody. It was never open. Really? These doors were shut and everybody told me because we came on a Shabbat or on a weekend when right. it's busy, busy and there's a lot of people that don't open the doors. So it's going to be the first time I'm going to go in. Wow, they, that's they amazing. Must, you know, Co uh, Neem is here so they're like, they opened it. So it's a form of self-improvement. It is. I mean, it definitely, it, it builds some confidence and stretches you. You're supposed to do something every day that take, scares you. Let me take, you take this. Her if she really wants you. I think doing a periscope counts as something that scares me. <laughs> Echo. It's a really cool medium. I'm learning so much and seeing the world. I know, dude. I never, if I, we'd seen any scopes from Israel like this, we wouldn't have been as fearful as we were. Coming over here, we feel very safe here. We there's so much so, beauty here. Exactly. Yeah, I hope people see that from our scopes. Yeah. Like it's a. I hope the replays. Awesome we should make a replay like video, um, like on YouTube that just select the best moments of the replay. Oh yeah. Man, look at this door. That's one thick door. I don't think I can go down in there, but I want to. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. 